What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lin and in today's video, I'm going to take you guys to South Korea and give you guys a little cooking tutorial about how to recreate this very delicious but also aesthetically pleasing sandwich that I had in South Korea. It's from this little shop called Egg Drop and I've seen a lot of places in like California and other parts of the world like Australia trying to recreate this dish. It's honestly so good. However, there's nowhere near me that sells this sandwich. Plus, I can't travel to Korea right now. Now. So I thought it would be really cool to show you guys how to make it plus it's really easy So let's get started for the ingredients. These are the items that you're going to need You're gonna need a loaf of brioche make sure it's unsliced some eggs heavy cream salt bacon some butter cheddar cheese sugar dried parsley condensed milk and some mayo and all exact measurements will be written out in the description box and it will be listed for two sandwiches and optional, if you really want to recreate the aesthetic of the sandwich and feel like you're in South Korea eating this, then I definitely recommend buying these sandwich carton things. I got these off AliExpress. I wasn't able to find it on Amazon, so I'm gonna leave the link of where I found it on AliExpress. It's gonna take longer, just FYI. However, I definitely recommend buying this if you really want to like take pictures and like feel like you're in South Korea. <laughs> and optional, I really recommend getting a squeeze bottle. This is just so you can like pour on your sauce really nicely. However, you don't need it, but I highly recommend it if you want to like keep the aesthetic of it. Okay, let's first start off by cooking and prepping our ingredients. Here, I am frying my bacon until crispy and I'm using two strips of bacon for one sandwich. Once the bacon is done cooking, you want to take it off the heat and put it onto some paper towel so it can soak up the grease and then set aside. So the next step is to make the sauce, which is what Egg Drop calls their egg sauce. And it's basically just mayo and condensed milk together. It's sweet, but also creamy and tangy. I don't know what they do, but it like kind of tastes good. <laughs> I usually don't like mayo, but this one tastes really good. <laughs> and basically you just mix together one part condensed milk to two parts Japanese mayo. And I put everything into a squeeze bottle so it's like easier to match the look of the sandwich. But you can definitely just mix it together and put it on with the spoon. And once you mix it together, put it into the refrigerator until needed. Now let's cut our brioche loaf into 2 inch slices. And to make it easier, I'm using the sandwich boxes as guide just so I make sure I cut the right amount and they also fit into the box. Then after making our slices, you want to cut it about 60% of the way through. Don't cut it more than that or else you're going to break it while assembling the sandwich because that's where you're going to stuff your eggs, your bacon, and like everything else. And then after you're done slicing, heat up a pan on low heat with some butter. I'm using about half a tablespoon of butter here. Then add your slices of brioche to heat up the bread so it can get nice and buttery and crispy. It should be golden brown about one or two minutes on each side and make sure to keep an eye on it because you do not want it to burn. Now lastly, let's scramble some eggs. First, crack about six eggs into a bowl. I'm using three eggs per sandwich because I like eggs. However, you can use however much eggs you want. I definitely recommend two to three eggs per sandwich just so we can have like a nice luscious like egg mountain top. But you can definitely use however much you want. And then to the eggs, add about three tablespoons of heavy cream, a pinch of salt, and about a tablespoon of sugar to the bowl and then whisk it all together. And then after whisking, get a non-stick skillet and melt two tablespoons of butter on low heat. After the butter is melted, add your egg mixture and start scrambling until it all comes together. It might look a little weird at first, but trust me, if you continue to scramble, it will solidify together. And don't be tempted to turn up the heat because or else you're gonna overcook your eggs and it's not gonna like taste as good and it's not gonna be like this bright yellow like fluffy texture. It should look a little bit something like this and once it is done, take it off the heat to stop it from cooking and let's start assembling the sandwich.
First, you want to take your brioche and place it into the sandwich boxes, then add some cheddar cheese, your bacon, your scrambled eggs, then top it off with your sauce that we made earlier, and then some dried parsley. So I just warmed it up. Honestly, this looks pretty good. I am very proud of myself for making this. I love Korea and this is definitely one of my favorite like street food snacks or like restaurants that I've been to. Um, one, it's really cheap in Korea. I think it's like around $3, which is like very, very affordable. Wow. And I just warmed it up for like 20 seconds. I've been taking pictures, so it's kind of cold right now, but let's give it a try. Mm. Honestly, it's pretty similar to what I had in Korea. I think the only difference is maybe the bacon. I'm not sure if I used like the correct bacon. Um, I know the brioche is kind of the same, except in Korea, theirs is more white and has like more of a mushroom top. I definitely, use like more eggs. I think they use less eggs, but since it's homemade, I get to control what I put in my sandwich. I posted this sandwich on social media and I got very like positive reviews and like feedback on it. So this is definitely like a crowd pleaser and like something you can impress your family or friends with. So I hope you guys like give it a try. I definitely miss traveling to South Korea and like eating all the street food there. So I definitely want to like recreate all my favorite like street food that I ate other parts of the world and like make this a series of like street food at home. Let me know if this is something you guys are interested in seeing. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!